Hello, everyone. Welcome to the prayer circle. Number five. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I know it's a long weekend, so you know we may not have as many people as normal, but that's okay. We're still gonna do what we're gonna do. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. I am like fried at the moment, just <laughs> I just finished a call and it was quite intense and powerful, so I'm a little bit fried, but that's okay. We can do it. I know, as some of you are as well. All right, so thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. We're going to um, do our regular prayers, but we're also going to include still the rainforest and we're going to also include Hur Hurricane Dorian as well and um if something else that you know of globally collectively uh that you'd like to add just type into the chat if you haven't already you know sent it to me that i've written about it in the prayer book you can always just write it in the chat as well okay so let's get started have some water so if you don't have any water please go grab some water because we will be charging up the water so that you, so that it includes the healing energies, the higher vibrations um, for your water as, you know, whatever, whatever water you have um, will be charged up. Okay. So that you can continue to drink from it and continue to get the benefits from this prayer call. Okay. All right. So, Let's get started, everyone. Um, just seeing if there's anything else that I want to say really off the top of my head. If you are new to, if you're watching this on YouTube or listening to the podcast later and you would like to join the prayer circle, you can just um, join at www.alara.at forward slash prayer. And then you can join and add your prayer if you'd like, or just, you know, Pray for others as well. So as we as we pray for all the people who have sent in prayers, all the people who are in the prayer circle, all of the people who have written prayers and on the Facebook, because even the ones on Facebook, I actually uh, write them in the book as well. Okay. Um, but but as we all pray for each other, for humanity, for the rainforest, for Hurricane Dorian, for whatever else our uh, prayers get exp exponentialized, amplified, magnified, uh, and there's a greater impact from all of us praying together, okay? And that is why we, that is why we do it. So that we can make a, a difference, so that we can be, uh, be a service, be a contribution, and more, right? So it's not just about, for us, you know, when we're praying, we're not just praying for us, but we're praying for all of us, right? Each and every one of us. Um, so that we can all live a life that's inspired, that's um, fulfilling, that's full of ease and grace and joy and so on, right? And some of us I know are having challenges. And so thank you for sharing your prayers and uh, let's, get, let's get started. Okay, so everyone take a deep breath. Be in your heart space. Okay, so breathe in through your nose to count to four. Breathe out to count to four. Again, breathe in. And out. And one more time, breathe in. And out. And one more time, breathe in. And out. Good. So now just call forth unconditional love to yourself from all over the universe, 
from your higher self, your I am presence, your support team, your creator, source, God. Just call forth that unconditional love and see, feel, hear, perceive yourself being filled up. Filled up with light, filled up with love. Good. Now call back all energy you've left behind or given away in all time, spaces, dimensions, and realities through every aspect of you. And as you call that energy back to you, whatever is ready to come back to you, and this energy is intelligent and intuitive, it knows. And as you call it back, it comes back to you now. Okay. And again, see, feel, hear, perceive that energy, your energy coming back to you now. So receive, receive, receive. Good. Awesome. Let's do a quick rainbow waterfall cleanse. So just imagine you're standing under a rainbow waterfall, crystal clear rainbow waterfall. As the water comes down the front and back, left and right side of your body, let go of any thoughts, feelings, and emotions from the day, all the mental toxins, all the emotional toxins, all the anxieties, stresses, and worries. Let them all go into the water to be healed, cleansed, cleared, and transmuted. And just like, you know, when you're standing under a shower, you know, your energy field, your aura, your body is being cleared and cleansed. So allow yourself right now to be cleared and cleansed of any heavy energies, any negative energies, any toxic energies. Let them all go into the water right now to be transmuted, healed, cleared. And allow those rainbow droplets of water, those rainbow filled water droplets to, to raise your vibration, to fill you up with light, to go deep into your cells, tissues, molecules, particles, and DNA, to fill you up with light and love and healing, to replenish you, re-energize you, reinvigorate you, Yeah, take a deep breath. And now from this space, let's connect into Mother Earth. So imagine that now this rainbow pillar, this rainbow waterfall is turning into, transformed into a rainbow pillar of light and love. Just slowly descend down this rainbow pillar of light and love. And as you slowly descend, continue to receive the healing, the light, the love and this rainbow pillar of light. Slowly descend, descend, descend. As you connect in, tap into the heart chakra of Mother Earth. Take a deep breath. And receive. Be willing to receive the energies, frequencies, and vibrations of unconditional love and blessings, connection and support strength, vitality, healing and wisdom, nurturing and nourishment, resources, abundance and prosperity. Just receive, allow yourself to receive. Take a deep breath. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's connect in, tap into the heart chakra of the great central sun. So. Just ascend upwards in this rainbow pillar of light. And again, as you ascend upwards, continue to receive the healing, continue to receive the light, continue to receive the love. And ascend, 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 all the way up, 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 and into the heart chakra of the great central sun. Take a deep breath. Be willing to receive energies, frequencies, and vibrations of unconditional love, of blessings, Peace, bliss, and oneness, of joy and happiness. 
connection and support, knowing and wisdom, healing and well being, acceptance, allowance, receiving, faith and trust, clarity and ease, abundance and prosperity, and whatever else you require. Receive, receive, receive. Breathe. Now just come back to your heart space. And from your heart space now, just push down any walls or barriers that may be up. Good, now expand out. Expand out to be as big as the room that you're in. As big as the city, state or province, country, continent beautiful planet and beyond. Good, now come back to your heart space. And as you're being bigger than this planet, see yourself outside, outside of this planet. And you're looking down on it. And see this planet bathed in this golden light. See yourself bathed in this golden light. And from your heart space now, just send to the planet, to humanity, to all the people on the planet, to all the people that have requested prayers, to all the people that are in the Chitra prayer circle, to everybody who is here listening now, watching now, listening later, watching later. Send everyone your unconditional love and blessings. And so from your heart space, you're going to see or perceive in some way this golden light coming out of your heart and going beaming down onto the planet. And not just down to the planet, but beaming to each person on the planet. Each being who is requesting help, who needs help, who would like help, would like assistance, who has prayers. That, would, that they would like answered. So send your unconditional love and blessings to all those people. Have the intention that all of their prayers be answered in the highest and best way possible. Better than, they, than what they can possibly imagine. May all the people who have requested prayers through the Chitra Prayer Circle May all their prayers come true in the best and highest way possible. May they receive ease. May they receive grace. May they receive health and healing and wisdom. May they receive the abundance that they are desiring. So as I'm talking, I have my hands on the prayer book. So as I'm speaking and as I'm sending energies, transmitting energies, frequencies, and vibrations, it's going to each of the people that is that have requested specifically the prayers, but also to all of you in the Chitra Prayer Circle and all of you on the call, listening now, watching now, listening later, watching later. Okay. May you receive the abundance that you're looking for and desiring, and may you receive the knowledge and wisdom to take action to have that abundance come to you with ease. Right, And so we always want everything with ease, with joy, with grace. So be open to that wisdom, be open to that ease, be open to that energy and frequency of abundance. And may your energy rise to meet that frequency of abundance that you're looking for, that you're desiring, that you're praying for, that you're asking for. And not just abundance, but the prosperity, the wealth, the money, the health, the healing the friendships, the relationships, the knowing of your being that some of you are wanting to connect back into, that connection. Some of you have asked for healing for your family and friends. So may they receive that healing if that is what they desire. Let it be in their highest good and better than they can imagine. And may you receive the knowledge and wisdom that, yes, you have asked for it, but it is their choice still of how they would like to receive and how they would like to heal or not. It is still their choice. 
So for some of you who are asking for new locations and new places, may you find those with ease and may you receive the energy and the ideas and the inspiration to move into those places with ease, with joy, with love. And for those of you who are looking for love, who are praying for a better relationship, a soulmate, may you receive that as well. But may you receive also the knowing and wisdom to love yourself, to accept yourself. And the how to be that love for you and everybody else. And may, let's, let's quickly ask also for the rainforest and Hurricane Dorian. So may the fires now cease and may the rainforest flourish once again. May all of the animals and people who have been displaced by the fires and the rainforest, may they have ease. May they have health, good health. May they have peace. And may their lives be even better than before. And may that rainforest be even more nurturing and more nourishing for all of us than ever before. And may Hurricane Dorian pass through wherever it's going with with ease, with less intensity, with less of that destructive force. But let it pass through quickly. Let it dissipate and pass through quickly with less destruction. And may Hurricane Dorian be a contribution to all the places that it does land on. May it be a contribution to the land, may it be a contribution to the oceans and to the people be open to willing to receive the energy and power and force of creation, of mother nature. What is she telling us? And what is Hurricane Dorian showing us and telling us? What do we require? And how is it a contribution to us? Let us receive that. So for some of you, you would like some grace and to dissolve fear and trust that the universe has your back. The universe has your back, but may you receive that trust. May you acknowledge and be open to that trust. May all your fears and doubts be cleared away. May you receive peace. And people who you know, are looking for a new job, a new employment, new source of income, new source of abundance. May you find that now and may it come to you swiftly and easily in the right way for you, in the highest and best way for you, better than you can imagine. And may you know that you, you yourself are greater than anything else around you. That nothing can, has the power to destroy you. Nothing has the power to disturb you unless you allow it to. So take back your power. Take back your power and know that you are a magnificent being of light and love with the power of God source surging through you. Connect into that, tap into that. May you receive that wisdom, may you receive that healing that you require to know that you are that. And for all the people who are grieving, may they find peace. May, they, may their hearts be healed. May they have acceptance, feel acceptance for what is. Receive that. And may, may they even at some point receive the energy of blessings. May they remember that life is a gift and that all the time that we spend with each other is a gift and a blessing. Focus on that. 
all the people who may be challenged with addictions of any sort, may you be freed from addictions, unhealthy addictions, addictions that are mm, clouding your mind and judgment. May you be free of them. And may we be a support to you to help you to, to no longer have those addictions. Some of you are wanting more and better sleep. May you have better sleep and know that even when you are sleeping, you are working. So ask for the assistance from your guides and angels from your higher self to work with you in a gentler way so that you're able to have sleep and rest so that when you wake up, you're rejuvenated. We pray for that for you. And for everybody else who is suffering from diseases, from chronic pain, from illnesses, may you have the healing that you require. And may you have the wisdom to know what this healing is all about. The wisdom to know that you can also overcome this that you are greater than this. May you have that freedom and that peace. When any underlying issues that may be causing the, the fear, the illness, the disease, the pain, the stress, may all those underlying causes come to light and be healed and cleared for you. And for all of you who are praying for others, I thank you. I thank you for bringing them into your heart and bringing them into our community so that we also can pray for them, so that we also can send them blessings and light and love. And for everybody else who I may not have, whose prayers I have not mentioned, please know that your your prayers are also being answered. And we ask that God, that our support team, source creator, answers our prayers in the highest and best way possible, better than, we, than what we can even imagine. And with grace and with ease. And may we integrate all that we hear and learn and receive easily, effortlessly. This or something better this or something better, this or something better, God. Let us have more ease and more peace. Let us have more joy in our lives. Let us see and feel your love, your light, your connection. Let us know that we are not separate from you, that we are you and you are us, expressing yourself through us. And as such, we also are powerful, are magnificent, are brilliant, are full of grace, full of healing, full of light, full of love. May we all be divine instruments of thy will, God. May we, we have, may we be of service to others. May we be a contribution to ourselves, to our family and friends, our communities, to humanity and to this planet. Not my will, but let the highest will be done. Not my will, but let the highest will be done. Not my will, but let the highest will be done. So as we continue to send light and love from our hearts to all of the people on the planet, to the planet, to all the people in the Chitra prayer circle, to all the people on the call, listening now, watching now, listening later, watching later, as we continue to send, send, send our unconditional love, our blessings, our light, Bring to your water to you as well and put your hands around the water and we're going to just invoke silently I'm going to say a mantra silently which is going to charge up all of your water as well to be of the highest benefit for you filled with all of these prayers, filled with all of the blessings, filled with all of the light and love coming straight from source.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be, be sure to drink that water and be, as you drink that water, be conscious of it and receive it as a blessing from source, as a blessing from God, as a blessing to assist you in answering your prayers and to assist you in taking the next steps, to assist you in having and receiving the insight and wisdom from your soul and from your guides and, and from source. So may we all be uplifted. May we all be inspired. May, be, may we all be full of light and full of love. And may we, we radiate that light and love to everyone around us, to all of the people who are requesting prayers, all of the people in the Jitra prayer circle, all of the people in, on this planet, all of humanity, to all the people who are being affected by Hurricane Dorian, to all of the people and animals, places that are being affected by the fires and the rainforest, and, and, and anything else on the planet that requires it. This or something better. Not my will, but let the highest will be done. Not my will, but let the highest will be done. Not my will, but the highest will be done. Take a deep breath. Yeah, so just be in your heart space now. And just receive some higher dimensional healing energies, frequencies, and vibrations, a concentrated blast just for you. Unconditional love, blessings, healing and wisdom, abundance and prosperity, and whatever else you require. Receive, receive, receive. Good. Take a deep breath. Bring your energy, attention, focus all the way down to the heart chakra of Mother Earth for a moment. Good. Come back up to you, your heart space. Be in your body, be in your seat, be in your space, be in your room. Start to wiggle your toes and fingers and open your eyes when you're ready. Drink your water. Okay, how's everybody doing? Awesome. So continue to um, receive for the rest of the day. Continue to drink your water. It's been charged up with these higher vibrational healing energies, frequencies and vibrations and all the blessings. Continue to be as present as you can be in your body the best you can. Good, everyone's doing good, awesome. Good, you're so welcome. Oh, you're so welcome, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good, awesome. All right, so, um, Awesome, thank you. So yeah, be, be, be gentle with yourself, right? As you've just received a, you know, a concentrated blast of energies, frequencies, vibrations, so listen to your body. What does your body require? Drink the water. Um, and then ask, what else is possible now? How can I be a contribution to myself, to my family, to my community, community, to humanity, to this planet? Okay, how can I be a blessing? Yeah, lots of energies for sure, absolutely. So that's what I'm saying. Drink lots of water, take a few deep breaths, be in your body the best you can, okay? Awesome. So I know it's a Labor Day weekend in North America. So for those of you who are 
traveling, be safe. For those of you who are running away from the hurricane, be safe. Um, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, for those of you who are, you know, maybe traveling, just visit friends and family this weekend, be safe, drive carefully. And uh, yeah, be gentle with yourself, okay? Gentle, gentle, gentle <laughs> is this the word that I'm getting, is the message that I'm getting right now is to be gentle with yourself, all right? Okay, cool. So, and if you'd like to share this with other people, please do, right? So you can just share the audio, share the video, ask them to go to alara.at forward slash prayer. The more that we can all pray for each other, the better, right? Awesome. Good. Thank you. All right, everyone. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye for now.